Hi guys! It has been a really long time since I did a video, but I wanted to share my holiday setup in my traveler's notebook. This is a Foxy Fix in licorice, black licorice. It is a number two, which is a pocket size, and it is with the wide spine, and I absolutely adore it and it has the white stitching and this one does include the pockets and I will show you that in just a bit because we'll get inside of it. I'll just show you what I have on the outside for now. The first thing I have is these planner charms. I create these in my Etsy shop so this is one of the ones I sold for the holidays. I love it. The only thing I changed is I added a gold bead onto this because I have a mix of hardware in this planner of gold and silver, and I'm totally okay with doing that. I think it looks totally cute, and these are so sparkly. I love them, and they'll probably remain on for the rest of December because they're honestly my favorite. <laughs> and I don't want to take them off. Okay, the next thing I have is this charm from Peach Palm. I love it, it's so cute, the Santa hat. The theme that I wanted to go with in this planner is Santa, plaid, and a sweater design. So I really wanted to stick to those three items. I couldn't just choose one, and I adore this so much. It's so cute. And as you can see, it has the silver hardware. A lot of my items have gold, but my pen has silver, and that's why I mixed them on my planner charm because I thought it would be really, really cute. As far as the clip that I have on the outside, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will post that link below so you can follow me there. There. If you don't, I change the clip on the outside of my band pretty much daily, sometimes more than once. <laughs> this is the one that I currently have. It's from Michelle at uh, Bullfrogs and Fireflies, and it's super, super cute. I really, really love it. And I will link that shop below so that you can take a look. She's got a lot of fun stuff, but this is the one that I'm currently obsessed with because of the plaid. I really, really love it. And speaking of plaid, because I know it will be asked, my nails are Jamberry. I totally love them. I will link them, uh, a link below where you can purchase them. And there is still time, I believe, up until December 15th with regular shipping to get them for the holidays. So they're super cute. I'm super obsessed with them. I've had them on for a long time. And I don't know, the way they're lasting and holding up, I may have them through all of December. I have no clue. I just feel bad taking them off because they look so good. But that is that, so just in case you're curious. So let's open this up and I will show you guys what's inside. Okay, the first thing I do is when I open my planner, I go from the bottom. The reason why I do that is because I only have the charms to clear. If I go across the top, there's so much sticking out of the top of this planner that it becomes a little difficult for the band to open. So I just have gotten used to doing it from the bottom and it's really, really simple. So I just do that. We're gonna open it up. I zoomed in a little bit so you can get a closer look at everything. Okay, here is the inside and I absolutely love, love this setup. I'm actually gonna have a hard time letting go of this after Christmas. But this is everything that I have in the inside pockets. I know a lot of people aren't thrilled with the pockets inside of a planner these days and are wanting options to have those removed or that you don't have to purchase them. I actually like the pockets because I am a big decorator, so without pockets, I'm a little lost. And I love the pocket design in the Foxy Fix. That's what pulls me to this planner. I love that they're up and down and not sideways. It's difficult for me to have the sideway pockets. Now just be aware, if you purchase the Foxy Fix in a larger size than a pocket, it, the pockets will be sideways. So that's why I like to stick with the pocket size planner and it's just total planner piece for me. So I'm happy with it. Okay, the first thing I have here is this 25 is paper clips from Michaels. I love these. And what I like about these is, of course, I have it marked for the 25th, which is Christmas. But if you have an important date that's coming up and you don't want to remember it, a birthday maybe, or something on a day that you have to do something important, it's so cute to just put that number down here in this left side um, on your pocket and remind yourself of 
what's going on that day. I really love these. And again, I got those at Michael's. Now, um, these were purchased last year. I am a three hour drive for Michael's, so I don't go there that often. Okay, the next thing I have is my clip. I love this clip. It is from Sticky Wicket Designs, which is Lee. She has the cutest clips. I love these mermaids. And look at the glitter. It's so pretty. I love it. And I love that the glitter doesn't shed on these. So what I also like about it is it fits perfectly in this pocket. So she will remain there for the month of December. It's just so cute, I can't handle it. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna show you everything that's in the pocket. Now, just so that you know, there's a couple of things that are not filled out yet, and that's just for privacy purposes. So I wanted to film this video first and show you everything, and afterwards I filled things in. So the first thing is my naughty or nice list. I'm going to be filling that out. <laughs> I love that. It's a Project Life card that I got. And then I have my Once More With Love winter bucket list, which I absolutely adore. This is actually a doable list for me, which they all aren't usually. A lot of times the winter bucket lists have things that involve younger children, and I don't have younger children. I have older step boys. And it just doesn't work for me. This one is actually doable, and as you can see, I've already used two. So I'm really excited about seeing if I can complete that. Okay, the next thing I have in the pocket is these movie titles from Scribble Prints Co. I love these. I got these during Black Friday, and I just like them because they're plain and simple, and they're easy to add to your uh, daily day in your inserts. And I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has an ombre effect to the gold. They're so, so pretty. And as you can see, I haven't watched any movies yet, but next week is going to be like total marathon. Well, the next two weeks, the next three weeks. I like to even watch Christmas movies after Christmas into the new year because my husband has off from Christmas to New Year's and we never have anything to do. So we just love sitting around and watching the holiday movies. So really excited about using those. Okay, the next thing is my Starbucks gift card. Oh my God, I went crazy with the Christmas Starbucks cards this year. I couldn't help it. The patterns were just out of this world. And of course, the plaid, so I had to have it. And I like the little square ones for cutting washi tape. I like to leave one in here all the time for washi tape. And I also like the fact that you only have to put $5 on these. When you start getting into the shaped cards, they want 10 and $15. Not that it makes a huge difference because you're gonna go into Starbucks and use it anyway. I have enough Starbucks gift cards to, so that I can have like coffee for the next year. And I'm not even a big coffee drinker. I like to just go in and get a specialty kind of coffee once in a while. But other than that, it's just very minimal. So I have enough Starbucks gift cards to last a lifetime. <laughs> because this year's patterns were too cute. Okay, the next thing I have is this little washi sample. Lamb sent me this. It's so, so cute. I love these little trees. So I kind of just keep it stuffed in this pocket right here. It stays, it hasn't fell out, so I'm good with that. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is this uh, dashboard from Tweety Pie Collage. I am obsessed with Nancy's dashboards. Just totally obsessed. I can't even explain to you the obsession right now. And right now what I'm scared of the most is that she's becoming so popular because they're so amazing that the next sale, I'm not getting anything. I'm just gonna get pushed out because my internet is so damn slow. <laughs> it doesn't refresh half as fast as everybody else's and I always get left out in the cold. <laughs> okay, so this is what Christmas is all about for me. I just wanna bake watch Christmas movies, and play with my planner. If I can do those three things for Christmas, I am happy. And I love the sweater design. And yes, that is Bella crying in the background. She loves to be on video. I really, really love the sweater pattern. I really wanted to incorporate that this year. So this is the reverse side. On the reverse side, I just have my initial here, and these can be purchased at Hobby Lobby, and I love them because they're super, super sparkly. Now on the other side, I have a piece of vellum, and what I did is I used my Heidi Swap Minx and I gold foiled it. And I totally, totally love the way this came out. I just love the sound of the vellum too, the crinkly paper. Kind of reminds me of the paper in a, in a Hobonichi. And 
I know those are really popular nowadays, but it's got that same kind of crinkly paper sound and I love it. So I purchased this design on Etsy. Uh, yes, I could have got something on um, the internet for free, but I like to support small businesses, especially during the holidays. So I wanted to purchase that and it says, tis the season to sparkle, which it most definitely is. Well, then I have my Dear Santa list. There's four items that I want this year. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't have these filled out yet just for privacy purposes. I know you guys understand that, but check out this Starbucks card. I am dying and it's perfect with my sweater pattern. So I had to have this one. It is so cute. Right now, the most important thing for me is to remember that I have $15 loaded on it so it doesn't just sit and rot in my planner because it's so cute. I don't even want to take it out. I love it. And I have this large gold paper clip that's from Hobby Lobby as well, if you're looking for those. Now this is my monthly. Um, this is an insert from so much crafting, I love it. Now, I've been really um, not finding my groove with my monthly insert. I originally thought maybe I was gonna discontinue using the monthly, but I'm still giving it a shot. As you can see, I don't have anything written in it, but I do have major things that did happen. I had a small surgery on the 7th. I'm going to St. Louis just before Christmas. So I do have some important things. I think what I've decided is I'm going to continue to try and use it. And if I just cut back and make it a little bit more simple and just mark important things like payday and a post-it in case something is coming up before I write it in, uh, if it's happening, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to keep it in my planner for now. So I just kind of decorated it really simple. Here is the Santa Belt Washi, which I love. It's from Michaels. And again, the theme I wanted to go with here was Santa, the sweater uh, pattern, and the plaid. Very, very cute. Very, very popular this year. Okay, the first thing I have up on the top is my monthly divider. I have this washied in so that it's not loose and I keep it behind the month that I want to flip to. Now I did not invent this little washi flip thing. I think Christina Maloney did. She was the first one that actually showed it, but I don't like anything loose in my planner. If something is loose, it freaks me out a little bit. I have anxiety, so it gets crazy. Um, I like it because it's secure. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we have here is we have my little pocket that I created. Now, um, it may look like these things are loose and flying out, but trust me, I have tossed this in my bag. I have tossed this little planner everywhere and nothing has fell out. I created this little vellum pocket with just some Christmas ephemera that I had that I might wanna use for dashboards or just because they're cute like the Santa hat. How can you say no to that? And um, I don't have a Michaels so or actually a Target, so I can't get the clear pockets that everybody's using. I have checked the few times I go to St. Louis for them, and I can't seem to find them. I'm going to be there for the weekend of Christmas. I'm going to look again. And if not, you guys have been really great about that stuff. I just put a call out on my Instagram, and you guys are always there to help and want to see if you can find me stuff. I, I love to do that anyway just because it builds friendships and I've met a lot of people that way and I send you the money through PayPal for the item and for shipping and it makes it so much easier for me and you guys are so great when you do that for me so for everybody that's done that for me thank you so much I really really appreciate it okay and um, this is the other side of that piece of vellum I have a clip on there from Peony's Papery which is lamb. I love these sequin stars. They're my favorite. I have been using those for a long time now and they are one of my favorites. I have to have one in every planner setup that I have. This is the other side of the Tweety Pie collage um, dashboard and it just says Merry and Bright and I have a peach palm put in on the top, which I love because it matches back to the Santa charm on the outside, which I also adore. And that's another thing, I totally love peach palms. I've been using them for a long, long time and I cannot have a planner set up without them. Okay, now the first thing I have here is the dashboard 
with Pookie on it. I lost her in September. It was super, super difficult. So I wanted to put her last picture that I took of her in my planner. I totally miss her. Uh, my household has not been the same since she's left us. It's been crazy, but that's another whole thing. And it just breaks my heart that I lost her. I had her for 16 years and she was a part of everything in my life. So she needs to remain a part of my planner because I miss her terribly. So I don't wanna cry on my video. We're gonna move past that because I have shed a lot of tears for that little one. Okay, and then on the other side, I have my current babies, which are so cute. Look at my boy Maxwell. I love him to pieces. And this is Salem. She is so, so cute. She's so fluffy. She's like a lion and her fur is so soft. We got her on Halloween and I named her Salem. I know. So original, right? <laughs> this is Bella. She's adorable. She's in the bathroom sink where she does not belong. And this picture kind of makes me sad a little bit because she looks so so big in it and she's so tiny. It just makes me sad because it makes me realize that my bathroom sink is so old and so outdated and I need to face reality and renovate my bathroom. I've just been avoiding it like the plague. <laughs> we redid our kitchen and living room last year and it was a huge undertaking and it just makes me shudder to think that I have to do it again for my bathroom. So I've kind of been procrastinating on it. But these are my current babies. I love them to pieces, Maxwell, Salem, and Bella. Okay, then this is another piece of vellum that's on this part. And I have my December 2016 insert. Now this is from Annie Plans. I will always use Annie Plans um, inserts for weekly because I just love them. And I love the plaid design. So I just have this piece of gold dot vellum and I do like to keep it clipped together just because I think it looks cuter. I have this reindeer paper clip that I keep right there on the outside. I took this paper clip off, but I'll show you once I get to the current week. We're gonna flip to that next. I do not use the monthly or the habit tracker. I have stopped using both of those, so basically I just tuck it so that it's clipped and I flip it and it goes to the first week and on. So this is my current week. Um, it is not filled out, but you can see it here. I love these stickers. I forget who they're from right now at the moment. The company is from Etsy is slipping my mind, but I will put it right here. I loved these stickers. I love that they were the plaid. I loved the tan that was incorporated with them, and I love the pink that was incorporated with them. They were really unique, and I love this one. It kind of reminds me of coach pattern, and I always love coach, so I just love the way this week came out. And no, it is not filled out, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Now, this clip here is a Santa clip. It is from uh, Willow Fields, and I absolutely adore it. So I'm gonna clip it on real quick so you can see it. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I love it. I love the fact that it sticks up a little bit from the paper too. It's just so cute. And my little reindeer clip, I'm just gonna put that back on now that we've flipped through the weekly. And I just love it, really cute. Now, my weekly, tab and I don't know if I mentioned this my monthly tab is from plan with mister so is my weekly tab I just love this paper design and again it's washied in and I keep it behind the week I'm working in so I can just flip and it takes me to the current week so I love that okay this is the back of the weekly and then the back side of that gold foiled dotted um, vellum and I believe I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. Okay, the next thing here is I purchased some dashboards from Plan With Mister, but unfortunately, I am so hooked on the Foxy Fix dashboard holders, which are these plastic things that you slide cards into, that I ended up, I did cut her dashboards, but I didn't want to waste them, so I just slid them into my Foxy Fix dashboards. And I could have easily went out and purchased this paper instead of buying dashboards that I was going to cut up. But you know what? I said this earlier, I want to support small businesses, especially during the holidays, because I think it's really, really important. And they're laminated, and I don't have to 
mess with laminating them. Even though I'm sticking them in a pocket, it's, it just makes them more sturdy. So I just like it. <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing. And it says, celebrate the season. I had this sticker in my um, stash of Christmas stuff and I think it just looks so cute on the plaid. On the reverse side, I just have some paper cut from a paper pad and I have this adorable reindeer clip from Picks and Stones. She did this one last year and I love it. I totally love it. So I will link that shop below. Then here is uh, some papers from a Michaels pack. This is just my name and this is from Tweety Pie Collage from Nancy. When you get your dashboards, which is this one here that I had originally showed you, she has such nice writing on the outside of the envelope. I just had to keep that because it's beautiful and I can't do that. And I'm totally okay with you guys seeing my name. I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. If you guys want to know where I live, I'm sure you can find me. <laughs> Not worried about it. Okay, on the other side, I have a sticky notepad from Target from last year, which I love, which is the sweater, you know, the kind of old-fashioned sweater look. Loving that. This clip here, I believe, I'm not sure if this is from Berry Sweet Plans or if it's from Plan With Mister. It's from one of them. I believe it's Berry Sweet Plans. I'm not 100% sure, but I love it because it has like a strip of sparkle down the center. If you can see that, it's so cute. I just love it. I love the simplicity of it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, this is my Christmas insert. As you can see, my countdown is not done. None of it is done. And that will be done this week because I am last minute with that. Okay, this is another plan with Mr. Dashboard. And the only thing I did was I put this sticker on it that says shine bright. I need something here. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do right here. If you have any ideas, put them down below because I'm kind of losing ideas of what to put right here. Maybe like a deer head clip because of the woods. I don't know. I can't think right now, so that's that. Here's a picture of me and my husband, which I think is totally cute and I love. And the background is also uh, Plan With Mr. Dashboard. Okay, this one here is Santa List, which is not filled out yet. And the background paper, I believe, is from Michaels as well. And I just have this skeleton clip on the side here. These are from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of these skeleton clips from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how the rest of you are dealing with yours, but mine are like getting a weird discolored look to them. And when you put a lot of stuff in them, it stretches them and the next time you use them, if you put it on a single sheet, it doesn't close completely anymore. It's like stretched permanently after you use it. I don't know, just a complaint that I have, I don't like them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I actually thought I saw Studio Calico saying they were releasing them in all different colors. And I'm gonna check theirs out because I have a feeling the quality is gonna be a lot better. Okay, then I have some snowman post-its that um, Addie sent me and they're super, super cute. I love them, the little chubby snowman who can resist him. The background is also planned with Mr. Dashboard and this vellum is from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna keep going. This is just a list that I have. The clip on the top is from Picks and Stones. I love it. It's my name with the black and white, which I'm totally obsessed with. Okay, let's get to the middle of this book. This is a new book I just put in. Okay, there's some stickers that I created. I make these myself. No, I do not sell them in my Etsy shop, guys. I don't think I will ever sell stickers. I'm just not up to that caliber. Yes, they're pretty and the colors are nice, but I just don't think that I would have the time to print stickers in large quantities. I just don't think I can. So if there's something that you see, I do buy the licenses for these so I can uh, sell them in small quantities. If there's something that you absolutely have to have, just send me a direct message on Instagram and I will see what I can do. I'm not going to make any promises. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they will not be in my shop because I do get that uh, asked of me a lot. Okay, these are face masks. I totally love doing face masks. So I always have different colors, like I have honey scrub and I have green ones. 
oatmeal ones, different ones. I even have my um, MAC charcoal ones, so I like having masks in different colors. Okay, the next one is lip scrubs. I like to do my lip scrub from Lush, and I just like to mark when I've done it so that I can remember the last time I've done it. Now these here are Hallmark Binge, Hallmark Movie Channel Binge stickers. These I will not sell because there's probably some kind of copyright infringement on them that somebody will get me in trouble for, so we're gonna just skip those. Uh, the next one is a foot bath stickers. Oh my God, these are so adorable. I just made these recently. Look at how cute they are. They say foot bath and have the little feet. Ah! <laughs> um, having a lot of issues with different parts of my feet since my surgery. So I have been doing Epsom salt soaks and I read up on them. And actually you guys, definitely read up on it if you get a chance. They say it's really good for your body. It's great to like detox and stuff, like just stuff out of your feet. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. I probably sound like a crazy person, whatever. But anyway, look into it. They say it's really, really good for you if you do them in half an hour increments. And I've been doing that, so I needed to make stickers for that. And I made them in all different colors so that I can have them for whatever weekly spread I'm doing. Okay, that's the other side of the lip scrub. That's the other side of the face mask. And we're getting to the end, guys. Okay, this is just the little tag that I thought was really cute that said naughty or nice. This is another plan with Mr. Dashboard, which is really cute. And this piece of paper here was from a paper pad from Target. So that was that. Now we're gonna get into the last little bit here. I have this Santa belt clip from Shiny Star Boutiques. Oh my God, this is my favorite clip. Ever. I'm just dying about this clip. It is so cute. I can't handle it. This is another piece of a Plan With Mr. dashboard that I keep stuffed in the back. There are these cute little stickers that came with my um, Scribble Prints Co. Uh, Black Friday order. I thought they were really cute, so I'm sticking them back here. I'll probably hoard them and not use them, which is totally ridiculous and crazy should just use it. I'm trying to get better at using my stuff. I know that a lot of us have that difficulty of getting a sticker that's really super cute and not wanting to use it and keeping it in your collection and hoarding it and then getting no satisfaction from it because you haven't used it. So I really am trying to make an effort. That's one of my goals for 2017 is to stop hoarding my stuff and to use it more. I have this little ephemera tag, which I thought was cute because I'm obsessed with black and white right now. So the black and white stripes just looked really cute and this is a red and white stripe and I just keep it clipped here in case I need to write a note and I have my ollie clip and black it's kind of hard to see because it's black on black but I really like it and then I have this that's really cute it's a postcard to Santa I really love it it's just a piece of ephemera that I have from an ephemera pack but I just think it's so cute and it fits perfectly in this pocket and then the last thing I have is my um pen gems and this is the go red american heart association pen and it was gifted to me and i don't believe you can buy it from pen gems i apologize for that guys i tried to not show things that you can't purchase but this pen has a lot of meaning to me um, I lost my grandma to a heart attack and she was very, very young in her 50s. And I almost lost my husband to a heart attack in 2012 and he was in his 40s. So I do a lot of donating to the American Heart Association and it was a gift and I really love it and I cherish it. So sorry about that guys, that is one thing you won't be able to get. And that's it. This thing is pretty thick and pretty chunky. Um, the only thing I'd like to add is the little uh, binder clips that have the elastic for holding pens. I need at least three more pens in here, but I'm not sure who makes those. Um, I haven't uh, gotten a chance to just look up a tutorial and do them myself. So if you guys know anybody that makes those cute little clips that are the binder clips 
with the little elastics to hold pens, please let me know and leave it in the comments below because that's the last thing I want to add to this planner. So that is it, guys. That is everything. I am sorry if I rambled on and it was really long and drawn out, but I'm obsessed with this planner. Like I said, I am going to have issues uh, saying goodbye to this in January timeframe. But that is everything. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. And you can also find me on Instagram at Doodle D Designs. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you guys a ton. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season. Bye.